Hi there, 3DP UK here. Um, so I've come across a problem with my extruder on the Cobra Max. Um, what I found is the when I was removing some filament, I actually found that there was a, a tiny bit of filament left in the um, the actual extruder itself. Um, so what I'm doing now is removing that, and I'll take it apart. And to do that using the allen key supplied you want to remove these three long bolts and these three long bolts are found at the top here um, there's three of them and that in turn holds the um, the motor in place uh, like so and that just fits in fit pretty much like that and and then the gear obviously sits there and so you undo those three and what I would suggest you do, I've, already, I've actually already done it myself. Um, I've removed those three. Keep your hand underneath the motor because it will drop and you don't want it to sort of dent the bed or even um, smash the glass if, it, if it's capable of doing that. Ch take a chip out of it. So what you want to do is remove those three bolts. Like I say, hold the motor. Lower the motor down. Hold the extruder itself because that's likely to wobble about. And then obviously, as long as it's free of filament, you should be able to remove that as one whole piece. Now, as you can see, this actually um, comes in two parts. So let's move it down, move these out of the way. So keep your, keep your bolts safe. And as you can see, so the filament goes in through this way. You've got your open valve opens um, clamp sorry and then the filament comes out into the Bowden tube through here and as you can see I've got some red filament there now I'm unable to feed any filament through um, I've tried to use the gears with the filament e in feed uh, tried to push it through it seems as if when I was removing the filament um, it may still have been quite warm and it looks like it's stuck inside there now to deal with that let me just take this apart now you can't access it by taking this apart but what you want to do is make sure nothing comes off everything's running smooth as you can see um, this is probably a good time now that you've taken it apart just to have a quick check of all the gears everything seems to move move pretty freely there's no um, issues with that it it's probably a good idea to check these teeth as well, which looking at this, it seems okay. I've got no missing teeth, no um, filament sort of uh, debris on there. The issue that I've got is, like I say, the filament stuck in there, as you can see. And the way around that is with a 13 mil spanner, what you want to do is just undo this coupling. Um, and it should be fairly easy to take off. Undo that, like so. So with a 13 mil spanner, gently undo that. And you can see it in there. Now, I have some tweezers, so um, I'll most likely be able to pull that through. Um, so just put that to one side. What you want to do is be extremely careful when you're doing this, not to lose any cogs, springs, um, everything is vital. So what I'm going to do is get some tweezers and uh, pull that debris out. So I've got all different styles of um, tweezers and these quite, come quite in handy. Um, so you've got a long nose tweezer and then an angle tweezer. I'm thinking that this is probably going to be the more helpful now. I'm not entirely sure as to whether this will work. I'm going to give it a go and uh, hopefully we should be able to. So as you can see, it's just been there uh, using the tweezers. Just go in. You may have to apply a bit of pressure and pull it out. And there we go. So yeah, that's the, um, the offender. So like I say, was swapping over to black filament this was my previous it could even be possible that this actually snapped during a print um, and the debris was left in there because to be fair I did have to scrap a print 
Um, I was wondering whether there was an issue with the actual extruder, but it sounds like, or it seems like, that this possibly could be an offender, or it could have happened when I was just doing a filament swap. Um, but as you can see, using some simple tweezers like that, now you can pick these up pretty much from any craft store. Amazon sell like a pack of um, different style. So what I've got here is all different styles really. So we've got like a bit more heavy duty ones, but obviously the um, the gap is quite small. Um, luckily it did come out first time. Um, it doesn't always work for me like that, especially when I'm videoing um, like help guides. Um, but there, all these different have different purposes and. Uh, yeah, these help for actually picking up filament that's fallen in the carriage and stuff like that when you're changing over just to double check everything um yeah it helps out also i use these when the, uh, at the beginning of a print i just pick away the filament as it's extruding um yeah and pull it away it's easier um the other way use your snips and carefully touching the bottom of the nozzle and just prise away the filament so what you want to do then is obviously now you're happy with that everything once again is running smooth no issues there these are all uh, seem to be in the right location you want to put the coupling back on and by doing that it's obviously just the opposite way tighten it up um, it doesn't have to be too tight it could actually be hand tight but because we undone it with a spanner once again 13 mil spanner tighten it up not too tight just, as, just enough for it to bite and we're back to um, being able to put it back together. So as you can see, um, what you want to do is make sure you get it the right way. Um, there is a particular way, it's, it's fairly obvious to be fair. Um, you can see that that slots in just like that. Um, everything's exactly as intended. As I said before, filament in this way, filament out that way into the Bowden tube. So you need to put it back exactly how you found it. So there's three bolts, um, like I say. So what we're gonna do is put it all back on and uh, run some filament through and hopefully it shouldn't be an issue. So let's do that now. Um, so it's very fiddly. So I've got the first bolt in, as you can see. Um, once it's bitten, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, go for the first one, so then you can let go of the motor because you do need to hold that throughout the whole time of reconnecting that. Um, it's it's part of the uh, the whole unit. So get one in. Once you've got that, be, be um, persevere with it. It does work. You just need to move the motor about. But like say if you've got one in it pretty much allows you to put the rest in. So what I would suggest oh, sorry, is to loosen that one that you've just connected up just a little bit so you've got free movement of the motor and then you should effectively locate slots for the rest of them. And once you feel a bite, stop turning that one and move to the next one. So yeah, I think that's pretty much up with that yep and then go to the final so you like I say you've got three bolts um, to this side and one on the other um, so now that the two are in there it's pretty much guaranteed that you're gonna catch all three now I'm a firm believer that you you tighten up one corner and then go to the opposite corner either side um, that way you're getting an even tighten um, so it doesn't need to be too tight but it needs to be tight enough because it is a moving part give it a little one either side like so and then the final bolt should pretty much tighten up there you go so what we have now is the extruders back online what you want to do is put your Bowden tube back on just push it into the coupling um, push it and then feed it in make sure it's all the way up now these clips that I downloaded from Fingerverse there's a modified version I'm going to be reprinting I know you're all thinking these these particular versions aren't that great as you can see they just keep popping off I've kind of printed them quite a few weeks ago when it first come out online and uh, 
yeah, they were brilliant at the time. Um, but yeah, since then, uh, uh, like a modified version's come out. So there's a uh, modified version's come out, so yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna manually feed this because I've actually got the machine off because it's advisable that when you're doing any work to the machine, you should isolate the power. Even if you're not really touching anything electrical, there, should, there could still be a charge in the motors. Now, you see I've snipped the filament. That gives a nice sharp edge when you're feeding it through the extruder. And we're going in through the filament in. Now, this is manual, as I said. So what you want to do is push this black pop in and pull the handle back, like so. And once you hear it click, as you can see, it's now feeding through. And that seems to have solved the problem. Um, you'll see it coming around now into the nozzle. Obviously, nozzle is cold. I'm not gonna go all the way. But now we have filament feeding through perfectly. Um, all from this small debris of filament. That's all it takes to block your extruder. Um, simple fix. Take it easy, take your time with it. Like I say, turn the power off, three bolts, one, two, three. Hold the motor from the bottom, that motor drops down. Take the extruder, make sure there's no filament in, take the tube off, and both in tube, and make sure that, like I say, no filament, drop the motor to the bed. It does have a particular way, make sure that it goes the way you found it, uh, which I've done, and uh, yeah. Take the um, Bowden extruder off, place it down, take the bottom off, and then with some simple pliers like this, you can pull out the filament. Um, this one worked for me because of it being um, such a small nose to it. I did have to sort of clamp on it. Um, filament can be quite rigid, especially if it's hot and it stuck itself in there. Um, it could have potentially been a, a lot more difficult and I would have actually have take it, had to take the actual extruder apart. Um, on this occasion, I didn't have to. So it's a quick video, simple video. If ever you have any blockages or the filament's not feeding, it's most likely something to do with this line. If there's nothing in here, you know it's something in here. Simple, three bolts off, motor down, take the extruder apart, use some um, pliers, pull it out. Simple as that. And that's 3DP UK. Like and subscribe. Loads more videos coming up very soon. It's uh, very warm in the UK right now, so unfortunately in my studio, I have loads of printers to review, um, and it's too hot in here. We have a temperature at seven, eight o'clock in the evening in the UK at 32.1 and 43% humidity. Um, very warm in here. Um, be great if I was doing PET G or any other sort of um, more more rigid filaments that need temperatures like that but unfortunately with PLA I've got loads of prints that I'm wanting to do but I'm unable to do it because of the, the actual extreme temperatures in here but yeah like and subscribe everyone just remember every subscribe that you get you get an opportunity in the future follow my Instagram 3dp UK one um, I'll leave a link in the in the description I have competitions coming up very soon um, I recently gave away a Sunlu s2 filament dryer and congratulations to um, the person that won that. Um, she's really happy with that. And there'll be more prizes coming soon. Take care, everyone. 3DP UK.